I found something in Palantir's Q1 2024 earnings report that no one is talking about. The contribution margin has accelerated meaningfully quarter over quarter, which basically implies that financials will improve exponentially over the coming year. Let me explain in the rest of this video just why that is going to happen. Palantir is rapidly productizing its offerings, which is best evidenced by the rising contribution margin. Contribution margin is defined as revenue less cost of revenue and sales and marketing expenses, excluding stock-based compensation, divided by revenue. So basically, Palantir's profit margin every time it deploys its software at a customer's company. If this metric goes up, it signals lower cost of deployment and therefore improved unit economics. In turn, as contribution margin increase, all other margins end up following along in time because their expansion stems from the better unit economics in the first place. Contribution margin is therefore the most rich signal metric in my Palantir thesis. If it goes out fast, so will cash flow production some time later. The graph that you see on the screen displays a trend reversal. In 2021, Palantir began to onboard smaller clients into its commercial business, and this brought contribution margin down since at the time Palantir didn't have the appropriate deployment mechanisms. With the subsequent productization, however, the metric is now trending up again. As I hypothesized in my original thesis, the aggregate contribution margin went up from 54% in fiscal year 2022 to 56% in fiscal year 2023. More impressively, the metric has risen from 55% in Q1 2023 to 60% in Q1 2024, implying a meaningful acceleration in the rate of productization. So going up from 55% to 60% in one quarter is really, really fast. This matches management's comments during the latest earnings call. Ryan Taylor, the chief legal officer, said during the Q1 2024 earnings call. In one to five days with the boot camp, we're able to do what used to take three months. Um, and we're seeing, as I talked about, we're seeing customers, you know, shortly after boot camp sign seven figure deals. Now, as the boot camps themselves then get productized, I believe contribution margin will accelerate further by enabling Palantir to conduct more boot camps and faster. I believe this dynamic explains much of the acceleration seen this quarter in the contribution margin. In Q1 2024, Palantir launched Build with AIP, which promises to assist in the productization of the boot camps. Here's what Shyam Sankar, CTO, said during the Q1 call. We have started rolling out Build with AIP, a series of developer and builder-oriented tutorials and reference implementations that enable builders to ramp quickly on the primitives and power of AIP and practical examples that unlock every employee at every customer. At the current rate of acceleration, the contribution margin will soon be above 90%, and this will fundamentally change Palantir. At that point, deployment will be increasingly seamless, allowing Palantir to drastically increase the number of customers per vertical. In turn, this will enable Palantir to create a blueprint of repeatable infrastructure that becomes accessible to companies N plus one and beyond. This approach frees these subsequent companies from purchasing raw compute and allows them to acquire computation tailored directly to their operational objectives. Drawing a parallel to gasoline, this shift is akin to choosing between buying an oil rig or simply purchasing gasoline to drive your car. This changes how computation is sold in the market and places Palantir at the top of the cloud compute funnel, positioning it to then redirect prospective customers to cloud hyperscalers like AWS, Google Cloud, and so forth. In time, this should exponentiate Palantir's operating leverage levels and thus free cash flow per share levels going forward. As a result of the above dynamic that I've been explaining in this video starting to unfold over the past year, Palantir's margins are now expanding across the board. In this graph, you can see how adjusted operating margin is up from 24% in Q1 2023 to 36% in Q1 2024. In the next graph, you can also see how gross margins have also expanded meaningfully year over year from 81% to 84% from Q1 2023 to Q1 2024. Although it is certainly disappointing that Palantir did not include this graph in Q1 2024, which would have shown a decline to 83%. In this sense, although this is not a thesis breaker for me, I find Palantir's reporting to be below the rest of its operations. As further evidence of the productization, US commercial customer count continues to grow really fast, 
with total customer count up 90% quarter over quarter, coming in at 262 clients. The fact that contribution margin trended down in 2021 demonstrates that onboarding new and smaller customers was taxing for Palantir. The trend reversal, together with a rising customer count, proves Palantir is meaningfully evolving its deployment capabilities. This evolution is also well depicted by the Rule of 40, which simply combines growth and profitability to provide a single measure. The rule states that a SaaS, software as a service company's combined growth rate and profit margin should be at least 40. And of course, the trend since Q2 2023 is remarkable. Net dollar retention came in at 111%, continuing the trend reversal, which started in Q4 2023. The metric is laggy, however, because it doesn't account for customers acquired in the last 12 months. In Q4 2021, NDR, net dollar retention, did account for customers acquired in Q1 2023, which, according to management, drove most of the NDR expansion. This is what Dave Glazer, Palantir CFO, said during the Q1 call. Retention was 111%, an increase of 300 basis points from last quarter. The increase was driven both by expansions at existing customers and new customers acquired in Q1 of last year. As net dollar retention does not include revenue from new customers that were acquired in the past 12 months, it does not yet fully capture the acceleration and velocity in our U.S. commercial business over the past year. According to management, AIP bootcamps are now driving expansions with existing customers too, which means that we should see NDR continue to trend up as productization continues, which if contribution margin carries on rising like this, it's going to increase really, really fast. Soon, Palantir's, uh, at least Foundry, will be a platform very soon. Qualitatively, the easier deployments get, the more likely existing customers are to do more work with the platform. So it makes absolute sense. And I think that the trend reversal that we are seeing in net dollar retention really begins to reflect existing customers using AIP to do more stuff at their company and essentially unlock more automation in their operations. To conclude, business is multidimensional chess in that sometimes the most important things do not happen in plain sight. For Palantir, contribution margin is the leading indicator of all other metrics of financial performance, and this is absolutely underappreciated by the rest of the market. The acceleration in the contribution margin indicates that Palantir's financials will improve fast over the rest of fiscal year 2024. The most important dynamic to watch out for in the coming quarters is the productization of bootcamps. As Palantir advances in this front, contribution margin will increase non-linearly and will set the company on a course to become a platform. This will initiate Palantir's ascent to becoming a trillion dollar company. Until next time, and thank you very much. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video, please, please can I ask you one favor? Please share it with one friend. These deep dives are for free, and so the only way this grows is with your help. So thank you very much in advance, and take care.